He was one of the most brilliant CIA operatives we ever had. Until he went rogue. He's responsible for the deaths of multiple agents. Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. Ben Mankiewicz, Alonzo Duralde over there, lovely Christy Lemire to uh, my right. I think I promised in my whole career on television I would never refer to a woman as the lovely when I introduced oh. her. So that's it. Failure. I got the one. Failure at age 30. Lovely and amazing. And, no, Failure at age 38. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> on my part or yours. <laughs> uh, uh, Alonzo, describe uh, Safe House with oh, Denzel Washington. Oh, gosh. Well, all right. So Ryan Reynolds is a CIA agent who is the minder of a safe house in Cape Town, South Africa. And uh, it's far from the action. He spends his days bouncing a tennis ball off the wall like Stephen Queen in The Great Escape. Mm -hmm. And then after being there for 12 months and itching for a promotion, Things happen because uh, rogue agent uh, Tobin Frost, I love that name, name, played by Denzel Washington with the worst afro since uh, Unbreakable, um, has come in from the cold and now they're bringing him there for interrogation. But then things get crazy and sh there's shooting and who's betraying who and lies and double crossing and gah! Remember rule number one, you are responsible for your house guest. I'm your house guest. They're here for me, but they want me alive. You don't kill. Times are wasting. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hey, hey! Get in. You serious? Yeah. Get in the trunk! I'm taking you in. I want you to take me in. Describing it, um, what I liked best about the movie was that sort of was was contained in your description. The idea of a safe house where nothing happens, like as would be the case with most safe houses, right. uh, because you don't you don't need them. And I thought that concept was kind of cool. And one thing that what I liked best about this movie, and when I liked this movie best, was as was the case with Man on a, Man on a Ledge. And this is better than Man on a Ledge, but but similar to that movie, as soon as we started to learn what was happening, I stopped caring about what was happening. It gets less interesting, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, because it's not, this is a movie where the action stuff is so good. Like there's a there's a car chase at the beginning where they're like going all through the streets of Cape Town and eventually like Ryan Reynolds and Denzel Washington are basically trying to kill each other while steering a speeding and car. And trying to escape other people. Yeah, yeah you right. know, and I was like, that stuff's great. And then they have to stop and talk and have a plot and that's when it <laughs> stops being interesting. And then it becomes training day. And then it becomes Denzel as the uh, cynical, wise mentor to the young, idealistic rookie. True, yeah. yeah and the training day was much, much, much better. This reminded me of that quite a bit. Um, you guys liked these big action sequences and the way they were staged. They're probably staged really, really well. I'm not sure because they are shot in yeah. such a shaky cam way and edited just within into their lives. Mm. And it's hard to tell. And like, why, why not have enough faith in your actors and in your choreography or, or whatever to let it play out. Why must it, like, it's like a fake Tony Scott movie. This feels very much to me like, like a Tony Scott movie. It's very much like a post, your, it's a post born movie for sure too. Yeah. I, I, you, got your, you got your Denzel, but you got your, your aesthetic trappings of a Tony Scott movie. There were things I thought they missed in the, like I didn't, I didn't, I, I, would, I would say the action was not great. It, it deteriorated because like the car chase, I liked, and the first sort of big gun battle was exciting. That's where the, at that moment, as soon as that was over, when they escaped the safe house and begin the buddy picture, is where I started to lose interest. And then we started to figure out, like, who betrayed. And you knew it was going to be one or two people, and you don't care. Right. And you're not going to have any motive for caring, because you don't care about these people, even though it's Vera Farmiga and Brendan Gleeson. And they're, they're, good, right. they're good actors. They're great actors. Um, but I thought the car chase was, was, was really good. Uh, and I liked some of the inventive things they did with the car chase, like literally like getting in between two other cars and sort of losing your side mirrors, which I mm -hmm. thought was kind of cool. But the fight scenes w made my head hurt. I, I mean, yeah. I don't usually... I, okay, I liked the yeah. big mano a mano at the end in the, in, in the second safe house. Okay. Uh, I thought that one was... Had the, one, a, the one with Ryan Reynolds and the guy from the killing. Oh, is that who that is? That's, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that to me had a real sort of like... There was a palpable the, violence yeah. to yes, it that, I, that, I agree. It that was, was not the best slick one. at all. It felt like two guys really trying to kill each other and really like breathing heavy and you yes, know, bleeding from awful places and you know just uh, I thought that that one worked for me. So so 
between the first car chase and that thing at the end, there's this whole other movie you have to kind of sit through to get those moments. But I thought those moments were worth enduring the rest of it. Yeah, environmental is it's a very, very demanding role for him physically. I think otherwise, in the moments where he and Denzel are having these discussions that you found boring, he just is sort of asked to look discombobulated, and that's about it. And his character is not really all that well fleshed out. So no. the combination of that and Denzel's not really allowed to be bad enough, right? It's not a true villain role. I agree. It never will be because it's Denzel him, Washington. I heard him on Letterman okay. describe the role as a guy who would like kill, you know, would, would shoot you for your seat on the bus, you know. That's but, not this guy. But it's not, no. that's not, that's not no, right. Yeah, no. and when he's executive, executive producer, you know that right. the character is gonna, He will only go know. so far, right? Yeah. So it's, so he's this rogue CIA agent. He had been selling secrets to other nations and enemy cells and whatever, but still he's smart and he's charismatic charismatic, and once he shaves off the bad fro mm -hmm. and the bad shaggy goatee and flashes that smile, it's like, oh, there's the Denzel we know and love. <laughs> now it's safe again. And we don't right. know why he did any of those things, like, because he seems like a pretty decent guy, like he just, I guess, wanted money, but we never saw him influenced by the trappings of money. Was he, just, he, just, he disillusioned well, by the agency? Yeah, I wasn't sure, yeah, yeah. It was, there were some explanations there, but I really didn't care. But there was <laughs> that. And also where- He just called rogue, Yeah, you know, that was it. <laughs> where it was lost, and there were a couple of moments where, where, where it's really humor. You first, you mentioned Ryan Reynolds. It looks like he's about to cry. You know, all <laughs> shots that, that, but really, his eyes are filled with water, almost as they, uh, you got a text. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as as we're <laughs> leaving almost every shot, he's like welling up, and I, I that's okay a couple of times. But there was no. He wanted to be in the vow. Right. right exactly. <laughs> really sad that he lost out to Channing Tatum in the vow. Um, but there's no humor at any point. You know, like like uh, uh, Denzel. It's never funny. Denzel no. Washington. Nobody says anything funny. At one point, you know, uh, Denzel Washington says that saying what the life of the uh, the CIA agent is going to be like for Ryan Reynolds, like you know. This is going to be a bad life. You'll get married. Most of these agents, guys in the field, get married three or four times. And then he says, "How many times were you married?" And Denzel Washington says, "Once," because it's Denzel, of course. So right. clearly, there's something he's, he's better. Yeah. Right, he's better. And then, but I, but I kept thinking, I was desperate once, and then three more times. Like any <laughs> any any moment joke, of please. of levity, or like when he's in the trunk and in, in the car early on in no. that chase that you that we liked. He's in the trunk, and he's trying to get out of the trunk while the car's going through these crazy chases. It was like a great opportunity, I thought, for us to see him try to get out, but then the car swerves, and so his work is foiled. But there's nothing. He's just, he's just working away while the car. I just, I, I thought it would have been a lot better if it had been a little meanwhile, funnier. Meanwhile, back and, at the CIA, you have this room full of actors who are way too good for this <laughs> stuff, spouting all oh, yeah. this exposition and like jargon. You know, Tracy Toms from 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 Rent and 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 uh, Death Proof, um, and and Vera Farmiga who. Now, at least when I see her in a movie like this, I, I, it's like seeing John Cassavetes in a dumb studio movie. You're thinking, okay, she's raising money to make another higher ground. So that's a good thing. Great, okay. no problem. Right. I do want to point out, especially Sam Shepard as the chief of the CIA, who has one of the weirdest line readings of the year for this line of dialogue, this four words, go find his ass. Now, you would think that he would say, go find his ass. But what Sam Shepard says instead is, go find his ass. <laughs> like his ass is missing, you know? He has a really nice ass, Denzel. Like they've got the rest of Denzel, but they need to get that ass because it's got the microfilm in it or something. I, I think you know. He, uh, uh, he might have been talking about uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds at that point, also with a fine. I can't quite remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, can we talk about the waterboarding really fast? Because there's a scene where um, oh, they, yeah, they yes, bring yes, Denzel yes. into the safe house and they Robert waterboard Patrick, Before we do the waterboarding mm -hmm. on, on the Sam Shepard line, do you think that like they're, you're afraid to say to Sam Shepard, can we do that again? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't Sam, do second you, takes. You messed that, that up. Shepard. You messed that in front of So we direct him now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so Denzel comes in and they, they really quickly go to the waterboarding. Yeah, like, like they don't really mess around at all with that controlling. Was funny. That was the one funny line. Oh, yeah, Denzel, with the Denzel, Denzel Robert Patrick, the, 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 another I think yes. undervalued, really wonderful yeah, no, actor. He's, he's in it, um, uh, telling him that the towels don't have the proper thickness yeah. for proper waterboarding, yeah. so it won't work. But when that scene comes, I had a, a glimmer of okay, this is a movie that's actually trying to say something, yes. right, and try to shine a light on this very like divisive interrogation now, yeah. technique, and, it, and then it sort of abandons it. Like we have the moment, we show it. 
and then That's nothing it. And, else and, and, happens. and it becomes yeah. another moment to show how what a badass Denzel Washington is maybe because that, he doesn't crack. Yeah, maybe that's primary reason for that moment. Not, right, but it was but that's a cheesy not, way not to, to use waterboarding in an era right. when it's still a very touchy yeah, subject. Yeah. Um, and and hopefully it will always be a touchy subject because yeah. you see it by the way it's torture. Um, but the um, but as we but that was part of when it was good. Yeah. Like when I was like, what's going to happen here? Look at this guy that we're getting the waterboarding. It's really uncomfortable, and Denzel is pointing out that it's not being done right. And then you know there's a great gun battle and. Ryan Reynolds and Denzel escape, and then the movie starts to blow. Yeah. All, right. All right, numbers. Um, three and a half. Well, yeah, you hated it. <laughs> I'm tough today. Yeah, you're tough today. <laughs> I, maybe I'm feeling generous today, but I, the, 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 the parts that were good were enough to, I will say, a 6.2. You know, and, and to go back to the very good thing you said about the vow, that that you, for people who th get excited. If you think you want to see this movie, you do, and if yeah. you think you don't, you don't. Yeah, that's true for Safe House, I, I think, I, also. I would say so, yeah. uh, I gave it a 5.5 because it's a, it's a little better than average. It's all right. It delivers okay. what it's supposed to, but it's ultimately forgettable. That's a 5.1, so again. And that's where it is in Tomato World, too. I'll be your surrogate mad at for the day. Yeah. I'm, I'm ex officio it's a, mad it's right, at It's right at 50. Can you give us a mustache? <laughs> any, any, any facial hair. Um, yeah, so it's 50-something. Like it's 50. Is it? Okay. 50 on the nose right now. Okay. Bye. All right, there you go, guys. Thanks.